you know, a couple things I was uh, just covering this in one of our new investor summits yesterday. So a couple things that I would encourage you to consider there. Uh, piece number one is some of it is, is impacted by the nature of what your, you know, other job is and kind of what your other role is and in terms of flexibility. So, you know, one of the things I try to counsel people on too is like, um, just whether, whether you were buying a FedEx business or any other type of small business, right? The privilege and the joy of being an entrepreneur is that uh, you can oftentimes build your business in such a way where it doesn't require a lot of your time. You can delegate, you can put the right management structures in place. You know, you can build these businesses uh, to be relatively low time investment from a management perspective. Um, but the fun part about being an entrepreneur and owning your own business is that when the business needs you, the business needs you. And uh, there's usually a little warning or, uh, or headwind for that. Sometimes we just uh, have a crisis or something where at the end of the day, nobody cares as much as we do about our own business. And so I think the flexibility is always a really important thing to consider with that, that you can absolutely build these businesses. And, you know, you know, I know lots of operators that run these businesses from, you know, five plus hours away from where they even live. So they're certainly not there every day. But the issue is that you just have to know that if something goes wrong where the business needs you, you want to have that flexibility that you could show up and, and solve a problem and jump in and triage. So that's a really important piece. You know, there's really not an office setting at the terminal. And so for most operators, you know, we have BCs or operations managers that go to the terminal every day and dispatch our trucks and, you know, manage the day to day with our drivers and get everybody on the road. And then um, they might work from a conference room or they might go home and work from home or they might be out on a route, you know, triaging and, and dealing with different things, working from a vehicle. But a lot of times for the owners, we're working more from a home office type structure. Um, and, and again, that depends on, you know, whether we're uh, outsourcing things like payroll processing and recruiting and administrative functions or whether we're handling those pieces uh, ourselves is, is, you know, every contractor does that just a little bit differently. Um, but that's really what's going to determine kind of, again, you know, how willing you are to outsource and delegate things. Um, and, and again, that's typically a function of how much profitability are you willing to forego in order to have the business uh, run a little less hands on. Um, but at the end of the day, these are not designed to be absentee passive investment streams, right? These are very much dynamic needy businesses um, that, you know, even though we're just taking cardboard from point A to point B, it's not that hard. It's not rocket science. Um, there's a lot of, you know, moving pieces in a given day. And so uh, you want to have that availability or at least have someone that you know is going to have that dedicated availability to be able to solve those problems. And typically a, a BC is not an all-in-one uh, solve and solution for that uh, in any way, shape or form typically. Um, so I would say you want to go into it with that balance uh, if you've got the flexibility, um, you can absolutely do it. And if you're willing to, to forego some of the profitability, you can make it uh, less intensive. Now, something I'm really firm on is being there for at least the first like two to four weeks, I think is the like, two weeks is minimum like imperative that you're on site uh, for those first two weeks because you want to ride along with your drivers. You want to get to know your manager. You want to get to know the other contractors in the building, your terminal staff. Um, you need to build those relationships and really understand the inner workings of the business. And really that first like two to <clears throat> probably four at most six weeks, those are when it's the hardest because you're learning everything for the first time. And it is absolutely like drinking from a fire hose. It's that first two to six weeks where our clients always call and go, oh my God, this is insane. What did I do? You know, and then by six weeks, they're like, okay, this isn't so bad. I think I have it figured out now. Um, but it's, it's really important that you're able to dedicate that initial upfront time. Uh, and I think that also positions you to potentially be able, um, you know, to, to outsource and delegate more things once you really understand the business.